standing or stopping tickets right. right here, okay. where it clearly says that it's residential parking. And no. Nope. live here. So do we. So do we, and okay. we got tickets. And she's not, while other people well, well, on the block have. If you live here, we and do. you're getting a ticket, all you right. have to do is go to Main Street, and they will probably dismiss the ticket. But the point is, she claims that she hasn't gotten a ticket while people parked at the exact same time well, she have. Hasn't gotten a ticket. Well, I've been down. I've been down here, and they have a ticketed a car here. They skipped her car, and they ticketed the car behind her. Okay. So why are we not skipping the residential car? Her car and my car. I apologize, sir, but this cop refuses to move. What's going on? He's just in the way we we were discussing the fact that this woman has been parking here without being ticketed while other cars have been ticketed and she turns out that she works for the for the uh for the town of fort lee and the cop is saying she can park there if she wants and she called the cops on us because we were trying to look at the vehicles and why they're not getting ticketed and so she caused a ruckus and now the cop refuses okay, to leave. So can he just move any I asked him to move and he said he doesn't care. I know. Don't care. Um, there we go. Sorry, sir. They had to call like two cops after that. He's like, move around. He's like, go down to Main Street and fight it. He's like, they're not showing favoritism in the system. I'm like, when they skip it over, they are. Like, they're, they're exact. I'm, and I said, we're not blaming her for the ticket. She's not issuing me the ticket. And I'm not saying that's what she's doing. But what I see is that it's not right. Yes? All right, so then what's the issue? Because I don't see a violation here. Neither do we. Well, so right. Why, why am I here? She we called you. Call you. We didn't call you. All right. You shouldn't be... Okay. Well, if, if, you're, if you're a public official and you've got a vehicle that is... Well, why don't you give it up? Please. All right, listen. You do, you're going about... I can see where your concern is, but you're going about it the wrong way. Then how totally should, going about it the wrong way. How should I get, be going about it? If then? you get a ticket for parking on the street and you're a resident and there's a proper... and there's a thing saying there, all you have to do is for the first couple times is be inconvenience. You go to 309 Main Street behind Pearl Hall. We understand. Yeah. We go, and you take it to the court. And you take the picture of the sign, you take the picture of your car, and you tell them. This is wrong. Well, that's what I did. I have pictures of the white curb, the ordinance, the sign. All right, and? Well, when she called the town. You gotta go up there. Trust don't me. Call. I don't, don't call, call nobody. I, I call, to work hold don't on. Call. I call cable company, I call phone company. It doesn't matter who you call, you're not gonna get the satisfaction for the most part on the phone. You're gonna I understand. from person to person. If you go to 309 Main Street, you're gonna walk right in, you're gonna tell them what the issue is, they're gonna resolve it. That's the best way, man, person to person. I understand that, and I agree. However, what she was told on the phone was that sign there, the no stopping and standing, right. negates the rest of the block, which doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't make sense. It's a white curb. It says residential parking. But these signs, they claimed on the phone, negate that and mean that this whole section is off limits. And all of a sudden, in the past two weeks, about six people on this block all of a sudden started getting... Standing and stopping. Then, then, then they have to either take those two signs down and come up and repave them, and then they got to have to avoid it. We completely agree, sir. And we're going to have to go to the uh, uh, Yes, and that's the only satisfaction you have. Yeah. But you have to do that, and you have to tell them. And, and you have to tell them in all certain terms. This is bullshit. I don't, I, don't, I don't think you shouldn't be parking there. I don't think that. My, my issue is when I come home from work, Oh, I wake up in the morning and I, I have a come, ticket. You know what got me pissed? Well, I come home and see him taking pictures of my phone. Well, I'm taking pictures of it too because when I go to court, I need to present that there's an issue here. Well, well, that there's certain to, uh, uh, Her parking there has nothing to do with it. Well, it does though. Because no. she but it has, does if it she does. has not gotten a ticket and the only cars here are hers. Probably. Everyone else knows not to park right, here because they're going to get tickets. the reason why she's not getting tickets is because when they're giving up the tickets, she's working. But then she has like a town sign on her car that exempt, but she has it in her car now. 
So when, the, when, when parking comes by, they, they ticket the first car, they skip over your car, and they go back well, to they, my car. Clearly they won't do that. They should be doing but, that. But they did do that. I have photos of it. That, that's what the problem is. I don't, I don't see where you shouldn't park there. We all should be parking did here. Did you see them at the time do this? I, I have photos of them with the tickets on there. I right. passed well, by. what you have to on. do. Did you see them actually Come on, do let me handle this. Do me the favor. What? Because I agree with you. I think it's bullshit. I don't care what that sign there says. Mm -hmm. If you have sign says that you can park there, and the curb doesn't doesn't say otherwise, then you're within your right to park there. Right. And you're you're borough resident. Right. All you right. Yes. yes. And you tell them, bullshit. I'm a resident of this town. No. You think you're running your mouth. You know you're making signs. No. no. You tell them like that. I understand that, but it's still I still have a full time job. I'm gonna have to take off work to come down to support. It's, it's in her case, it's going to cost her more money. No, they haven't been ticketing here, no. just here. We don't do this. No, I'm not saying that you no. didn't. We never even called you. Like I said to you, I don't care. Personally, Those I don't care if you park there. I think anyone should park here. My problem is when I come home, not, I, I mean, see regular residents with tickets on their cars and, like and you don't because you have a car sticker. For your resident, but what they see on your, on your, on your, the front of your car, the dashboard, they see official police business. I, I just want everyone to be equal under the law. That's how I see it. She doesn't have that in a car because if she doesn't park, if she doesn't have that in a car at police headquarters, they're going to tell her. But this isn't police headquarters. But people leave it in their vehicles. But what I'm saying is then when, when they're coming and they're ticketing, they're skipping over that because they see that municipality exemption. That's the problem. Do you, but do you, I mean, look, human to human, you understand that. I understand that. She parks around town because of her duties here and there, around Main Street, right. Pearl, Borough parking lot, hours anyway. and, and they, they she can. needs to get to her stuff, whatever, to her vehicle. Right. And I, like I said before, if there's an issue with her parking anywhere, they know how to reach her one, two, three, and then they'll move the car. Well, the problem the is, is that, this and that's the, the issue is, if she's parked there and I'm parked behind her, they don't ticket her because she has that in front of her that's car. That's the only thing that's different. That's, that's the difference, and that's where it's unfair. And I, and I think it's incorrect. If they're not going to. I don't, I don't think they're taking her because she's a resident. I, you have have I have, I have my, I have my, my hook. I got everything on there. She has in the car official Fort Lee Police business. I don't have mine in the, I don't have mine up in the gray truck. It was on the dashboard. Well, I don't know what, what they did today. I don't get the handicap right, sticker. And I don't know what the handicap thing. I don't know how that, what that does. I'm sure there's got to be. I came out and took pictures too. I mean, yeah. All right. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put it in the cab that there's a discrepancy with the street sign. Thank you. Thank I'm going to tell them to notify. I'm going to tell them to notify parking authority and to not to issue tickets here until this matter has been resolved. My suggestion for them is to take that crap out. Of course. But if they're probably going to paint the, the curb yellow. That is no right. So now, no parking I, think, I, think, I think somebody else, meaning another entity, not from Fort Lee, Put the sign up there because DOT comes out and they put shit. Oh yeah, DTW. It's I have to put the signs up. Them or whoever. Well, I went and researched. You yeah. see right? like anything right. the They put on. I'm telling. They put stop signs up that are not legal. That haven't been gone through the legal process. Right. And then we end up issuing tickets, and then they go to court. And they get dismissed. Right. This ain't the first time. Um, Either that yeah, sign's gonna go down. Or they're going to take all those signs out and paint the curb yellow. Right. But either way, any reasonable person would say that you, as of right now, can park there. We agree, and that's why that's why we're upset because many people have been getting tickets all of a sudden, and there's already enough congestion on this block in terms of parking. So missing three more spots is quite frustrating. I think the reason why they did that is because they, they want to make sure it's the to turn, make the turn. turn clear. And I understand that. I don't agree with it, but I would understand it. But the fact that, as we said before, that there appears to be a discrepancy in who gets the tickets is the problem. I'm not the one issuing the tickets. So I, understand, I, I understand that, and I didn't ask you to come out here. No, that's fine. She did. I don't particularly give residents parking tickets or whatever. I think it's, unless it's a... Like you're in the intersection of the problem. Sure. Yeah. But for like this, this is, I think this is wrong. Okay. I'm going to make a note of it. I'm going to come rectify the problem. They're going to rectify it either by taking that crap down or taking it all down and painting it all down. Yeah. And then, then nobody parks there. And then everybody knows. Right. But right now, it's, it's ambiguous. Right. Alrighty. Thank you.
Yeah, I apologize for any misunderstanding. Okay, thank you very much. But get, if you want to, you can either have something, whatever, I'll handle it. But if you go to court, you can say everybody in the neighborhood is pissed off about it. Uh, uh, everybody's bitching about it, and everybody gets a sick of it. What's your name? Also Ordinez. Uh, sorry, what was it? Ordinez. Ordinez? Yes. Okay. Alrighty? Thank you. Take care, sir. Alright, thank you, officers. Thank you. Alright. Thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure that something happens about it. Okay. For the ticket, just go to 309 Main Street. Right. Tell them the police came there, the police agreed with you. I'm going to let them know. What's and your badge on there? There's a discrepancy with the what? sign in the, what is the it? curb. I mean, oh, yeah. They gotta, it's okay. ridiculous. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. One time for residents of the park, 48 hours, whatever, whatever. What are you saying? And they make somebody just do on a full street. Well, I know it happened. I think they get the ticket like in the next day. They just put it up. Then the next day I got the ticket. So I've been living here for like three years.